Please be aware of flashing lights. The storyline in this video is also not canon to the official storyline. It is purely my own. Enjoy! Hey there again guys, Lara Red with another Black Desert Mobile video. It's been a while since I've actually uploaded anything, so I thought I'd show what's new in Black Desert Mobile. As you can see in this little snippet I'm showing you, a lot has changed. In the intro you saw Hashashin, the new class, and we saw the Hadoom Realm, the Realm of Darkness. Ooh, spooky. So the last time i did a video on black desert was in the awakening update where i showcased reaper and the invoker as two of the classes i have and played or play with their awakenings a lot of things have changed since then and i say a lot of things for the better as well so i want to showcase them in this video that this first screenshot you're seeing is uh path of glory yeah path of glory where the entire family of characters teams up and takes down 10 waves of villains obviously it gets stronger as it goes along so yeah it's a pain to get the family cp and i must say i almost went broke trying to get the gear and whatnot but honestly it paid off in the end so i must say i'm quite happy with that and also it's like a little project, you know, you can just get to know it and stuff. Anyway, so there is a new class, Hashashin, and there's new game modes, there's new things. But this video is not purely about Hashashin. I'll probably do him in a separate video, but this one is about Hadoom and um, Pog and Ramones as well. So let's have a look at this new Hadoom realm. Okay, so in order to access, uh, to gain access to the Hadoom realm, you have to complete the family quest, and I think you have to do the basics of. I think you, we have to complete South Media to get access to this part. So that basically means if you have a character that's done South Media then you can use them to unlock this quest. For me, that was Reaper. Um, at the time, she's the one who's done most of the story. At the time of recording, she currently has done most of the story. Oh yes, and there's a little shout out from my guildies. <laughs> so yeah, Reaper has, is the one who's done most of the story. So if she completes this quest, then all of the family can then go on to it. And, oh yes, I forgot to unlock her 11th skill. Okay, so anyway, before we go unlocking that, let's go and do, actually we can do that in the process of this. Let's go through here and actually, here we go, here's the tutorial. And actually, I might give you some sound for this, actually. Let's, let's do that. Okay, give me a second. Okay, here we go. Right, how this basically works is you use light stones to create these kind of like light potions and the idea is to have enough so hopefully you don't get kicked out of the realm. So if you've been using up your light stones, 
your, um, your light staff rags, now is a very good time to save them and if possible, try and keep a few light stone fragments on your character so uh, god forbid you run out but just in case you run out. Also, if you need some quick, a quick vial or two, you can get them from the bounty missions in town. Obviously you can only get two a day so make use of it and oh wow this animation is so cool check this out check this out awesome now that is that is just wow that's amazing all right so now that we've entered the dark world let's see what it beholds Alright, sorry about that little break. The game crashed. <laughs> it lagged and it crashed. It's been having a habit of doing that, but no big deal. Anyway, so before we head in, let me oh, let me get to a safe place for let me see. Oh hold on, am I going through the wall? Yeah, that's better, that's better. Right, before we head into her doom, let me stop off and make some potions. Oh hang on a second, where am I? Yeah, this is this is right. See, tier of blessings. You can also set how you, the t the tier of blessings as well. So yeah, try and keep a bunch of lightstone frags on your on your person, just in case you ever run out. Because honestly, the things you get from town, they're just small ones, and stuff. They don't really do the job. Okay, so make sure to keep that in mind. All right, here we go again. Please don't crash this time. Next time I film in her doom, I think I'll use Nox. <laughs> Alright, let's just wait and see if it went successfully. I don't like when it lags like this. <laughs> the doom's realm. Travelers who wish to stay in the doom's realm. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of lore while we wait. Okay, did it work? Did it work? Oh, finally it worked. Oh, wonderful. All right, now I put the background music back on because I, on editing, I realized that for some reason the video's audio is out of sync. So where a character was speaking, the screen was like totally normal. So apologies in advance for that. So this is, oh, hello, Serari. Long time no see. If you've done South Midi, you'd remember her. She's the kind of foreteller. So yeah. Her Doom's Realm, it starts off with a little side story. You don't have to do the side story, you can just jump right in and start fighting. But I like a good little story. So I went through it. So let's not bore it, let's not bore ourselves with all the uh, nooks and crannies and stuff, and let's just get to the fighting action, shall we? <laughs> okay, I said we should get straight to the fighting action. I just can't forget this little animation of the rift stone. Awesome. Okay, now we can fight. <laughs> so off we go to start our first Hadoom sk skirmish. <laughs> so my thoughts on Hadoom, it's very free to play friendly. Well, why do I say that? As you know, a few updates ago, they allowed you to make uh, red gear from boss fragments. Recently, they removed the requirement that you would need a red fragment along with world boss fragments, which I have to say, very well done to you, Pearl Abyss, because that wasn't exactly fair to us free players now um at the time that i was editing this video i have two red pieces of gear a dandelion shamshir and red nose armor and i'm very very pleased and i'm actually close to musk and shoes so having her doom drop these dark coins is a major plus for me because i'm afraid to play and i think it's i think it's actually quite considerate because if you play enough, you can save up enough. And yeah, also not to mention the XP scrolls that you get from there. You can only use them from level 60. But trust me when I say, save these up because you could level up just like, just like that in a flash. 
my hash at the time of editing is now level 72 so yeah and I was saying just three weeks ago that level 70 was a dream to me not anymore <laughs> so that's another um, uh, how can I say it? that's another advantage of Hadoom not to mention it drops dark statues much like the gold statues you get from box drops sometimes and things like that but these ones they can go for quite a hefty amount of silver so if you film it so if you're like me and you don't film sorry <laughs> if you're like me and you like to farm in Hadoom more than the normal world then you can probably get a lot of a lot of uh, statues from there and you can sell them for a good killing and this helps because sometimes the upgrades and stuff are very expensive <coughs> excuse me especially if you're trying to upgrade your gear for like the duo try pen and stuff like that so all in all i think hadoom is an amazing feature i say a big thank you to the developers for making it not to mention making the new hashashin class and tamer now i know i said this video was supposed to be like ramines and whatnot but i like to avoid making my videos too long so hopefully i'll show you some ramines because ramines has a new map and i didn't used to like that mode so i want to talk about it a little bit and the new class tamer is out and as her name suggests she's a beast tamer <laughs> so I will leave you with this little uh, path of glory snap hopefully I'll cover it in another video I don't like to bore people so I like to keep it as short as possible so I'll see you then stay tuned stay safe please everyone please stay safe and as always thanks for watching take care